identification of drainage in this class we will learn about the direction of flow and pattern of rivers and question related with drainage or river so let's look at that why the streams are black in many a time we get uh, in topo there are streams that means single line which are black in color now why they are black so what you will write the answer when question if question comes like this so the streams are black as they are non perennial that means they are not having water throughout the year so you can look at this picture almost all are uh, black in color next point you can write these streams have running water only during rainy season and gets dry during summer season next let's look at this question why what is the significance of narrow blue channel in the river so we can see this is a pretty wide river but there is a very small thin blue color line inside that so it is saying that water is there throughout the year in that small thin line so it is not like full of water so what answer you should write the narrow blue channel means that the river almost dries up in summer leaving a river bed with a narrow channel of water flowing throughout it so it means that during summer it gets almost dry but a small thin channel flows through it so it is found mostly in arid region uh, where we have seasonal rainfall next question what is the significance of white patches in the river or in the river bed so in this case we can see here is one white patch here is another white patch what is the meaning of this so in white uh, the white patches on the river bed are river islands so river with island mean that river is in its middle course or it's in lower course uh, when the river is unable to carry the load which it is carrying so it deposit all uh, the material like sand gravel stone silt everything on the river bed and they form this uh, um, river island or this formation takes place let's look at next question what the point is called where balram nadi is joined ning sipu nadi so we can see that this is balram nadi and arrow is this side so it is the tributary it is joining this big river is known as this is sipu nadi so this point we are talking about what is the name of this point this point is called confluence that is it is a point confluence between balram nadi and sipu nadi and uh, and confluence is uh, the intersection of the tributary with the main river where this tributary balram nadi is joining that main river that is uh, sipu nadi let's look at uh, the different drainage pattern many students they struggle to identify different drainage pattern what are those the first one this is called dendritic pattern dendritic means in greek word it is dendron or it's like a tree so we can look at this this main river it looks like a trunk of a tree and then those small rivers they are joining this main river and they look like the branches okay here is another so they look like the branches so this is called dendritic pattern now where this dendritic pattern forms dendritic pattern develop in areas where we have a uh, very homogeneous uh, uh, rock strata okay so we can say something like this suppose this is a land and uh, here maybe they have parallel rock say this is hard rock and this is soft rock so river is pretty clueless and they just flow in any direction and they look like a tree so this happens this is called dendritic pattern it happens in areas where they have homogeneous rock in a dendritic system there is one main river which looks like a trunk of a tree and it is joined by many smaller tributary rivers so we can as i said that this is say this is a trunk of a tree and small small rivers are joining uh, those tributaries are joining them so next question is identify the drainage pattern so look at this one this is called trellis the pattern of the drainage is trellis drainage pattern 
This pattern develops where underlying rock strata has alternate hard and soft rock. So uh, let's go in deep depth uh, of that. So here we can see the main river. So river is flowing in that direction because we can see that tributaries are joining the main river like this. So tributaries are joining like that. Now where tributaries are joining the main river, they are joining at an angle, sometimes 90 degree or a little less than 90 degree. So this is a trellis pattern where they form. Suppose we have a landform like this where we have say hard rock and soft rock. So this uh, starter is hard rock. So here this hard rock, uh, they form a maybe upland or it is difficult for the river to uh, cut through it. So through soft rock, the main river is flowing and uh, those river, they are, the, wherever they get a weak point, they go and join the main river at an angle and they form this trellis drainage pattern. Identify the drainage pattern. What is the next? This is a radial pattern. Radial drainage pattern develops surrounding areas of high topography where elevation drops. That means suddenly there is a fall in the elevation or height and from a central high area to surrounding low areas. So suppose this is, we can see here is a hill and from this, this entire hill, from here, rivers are flowing in different direction. They are going in different direction. So some are flowing that side, some are flowing this side, north, south, east, west, in different direction. So this radial drainage pattern forms. So river flow in different direction from a highland. So it is a kind of, this is a highland and from there, river flow in different direction. So when you find in a, mm, river pattern, river drainage pattern, a highland. So first check whether it is a radial. Next, why the streams have black dash line? So here we can see in this portion, these are black dash line. What does it mean? It means that it is a disappearing strip. That means this area is sand and rainfall is not much. So during rainy season, when they get water, then also it disappears because sand soaks those water and you can't see that river after a certain distance. These streams dry out before joining a sea or lake and they call